Well, I was always a rebel, always fighting somebody or other, and I became a sex revolutionist instead of a political revolutionist. I became an atheist at the age of 12 because I said, in all probability, there is no God, and if there is, he will honor my not believing in him. He's not going to cut my balls off because I don't believe. I don't like unnecessary restriction. If you want to restrict yourself and marry monogamously, fine, choose it. If I love someone very much and I can only have a relationship with her because she needs, she thinks she must have monogamy, I can put up with it. It won't kill me. Most therapists are babies who need other people's approval, and if they don't get it, they put themselves down. So they have to get it, they have to get it. We like approval, but we don't need it. They would rather uh, kiss their ass and go along for their ride, which I refuse to do. I accept what I can change, and do the best I can, and considering that I have so many innate disabilities, biological as well as psychological, I do very well. So I lead a happy life with all these continual things. That the main thing rational emotive behavior therapy is, is democratic. It's not for a few people and it's certainly not for a few wealthy people, but it's for everybody. So far has largely succeeded, but it has a long way to go. I prefer it. I like it. But I don't need what I want. You get rid of the tyranny of the should, the must. You stop masturbating and go back to happy masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>